One owner car guy. One owner car guy .com. This is done. That's done. That's done. That's not new inventory. That's done. Now, the trash that came from all the cars that I've done in the past four months wore out buffing pads, crap like you wouldn't even believe. Broken buffers and broken vacuums. I might keep that hose. Old power washers. I gotta put that on Craigslist. That car is sold. But all this stuff, we're going to get a U Haul right now and get this out of here. I need a fuel regulator for this. I don't understand it. But having the newer motor, Miss Breeder, Beagle's Pocket, she's along for the ride, of course. But having the newer motor in the older car has created an issue where we had a fuel pressure regulator, a Mr. Gasket thing where you could turn it up and down right here in the line. And we went ahead and shortened up the line. And you got that electric fuel pump over there. And you got this multi ignition thing here. This wire here comes from the fuel pump comes over down here into the factory loom somehow and there's a T on it and this comes over here and rolls up goes up to your multi spark ignition now this is where I'm not a brain surgeon on this you have one or the other in it and I'll start figuring out how to do something you got old and new together with an auto brought carb and that newer high high pressure god that's got to be putting out 50 60 I wish I had a meter whatever it's called a fucking gauge um, it's putting out a lot of pressure and so basically, it's just dumping it in. And when you shut the key off, that's staying on and just dumping it in. And I think they just got it wired into the wrong ignition wire. But still, at the same point, the car is just getting way too much fuel. It's amazing. New inventory going to be doing out to it. Um, all this stuff's getting gone. Got this car in. Going to be taking some dents out and doing some work on it. Nice car. Awesome Volvo. Get a nice look at the black leather interior. We're out of here, going to get to Human Hall. And as you can see, some of the older inventory, we've been working on the GTAs and such. You can see another new one that I just pictured yesterday coming up. Chuck is actually taking this here 300, and look at this bad boy. He's taking it up to Montana. And this is gonna be a daily driver. He may sell it, but at the same time, he wants a nice car to drive around. and. These scream nice car. That's all there is to say about it. Reliable little long lasting son of a gun. Dusty just from sitting here, man. But pff, nice. That's the deal. So basically, we're ending a little stint of time down here where we've been busting ass and moving cars and washing cars. And can you at least dummy lock that? You've been doing it, tuning it, is what I'm saying. Brain farts, we all get 40 of them a day. I used to say one. 560's over here, gonna get something going on it. We've been doing a lot of work. And we've got a lot done. It's been nice working with someone that can get some stuff done in the morning without having to have somebody do it all for them. I know that may not make sense, but if you've watched my channel and seen previous help, I gotta do everything, every single thing. Not some things, everything. So, off to the U-Haul. And like I was saying there, we've kind of got done with a good stint down here on stuff. And this lot is almost, we didn't quite get it where we wanted. Like the Jeep, the Range Rover, there's three or four more over here. And then next time down here next month, we're gonna get out of that other lot. and. I'm trying to buy the, it ain't going to be by the end of the year, but it's going to be early in the first month of the year. Gone. Out of there. Less cars. Um, stuff's coming up on eBay and everywhere I can advertise it soon. And I'm sure by that time, we're going to need another U-Haul. Bought six cars and a fifth wheel in the last two or three weeks with Chuck down here. And he's gonna be moving some of them back to Montucky. Stop sign? I took the whole damn light out. Somebody must have hit it. It's gone. It is gone. I don't know that I've ever, I think somebody must have hit it. It's gone, dude. It's literally gone, oh, right from the middle. I'm gonna look when I go by. I've never seen. Yeah, there's a pile of glass right there. Pile of glass, he's right. Somebody ran into that girl. 
Yep, the pole's right gone from there. Holy smokes. We had not been moving. There's been quite a couple wrecks on this here road lately. As I speed up. Yes, sir. -y. There's our truck, Chet. There it is. We'll take that camper instead. I think so. After I asked you about ID, I just thought, damn, actually, you got more ID than anyone. You got a new California ID card. You got all kinds of ID. Just them two right there should work. And I got the auction. Just lay them all out. 14, 15 different ideas. What do you want, bud? Do you need one from any particular state? <laughs> what names? Do you want the names to match? <laughs> Can the picture just match? <laughs> or does the name have to match too? Don't the names go together? <laughs> Got my lawyer's car there. Green life. Doctor's office. That should work, huh? Medication. I think it's the 17 we're getting. I'll make sure we're at least on the right track here and then uh, leave. I got money in my pocket. I'm going to give you 300 bucks. They'll definitely get it out. They want a $100 deposit. They probably want 100 on the mileage too. It's going to be like 60 bucks. So. Okay, so we'll just go and make sure it's the right place, stuff, and then I'll just do paperwork and get it done. Lakeside crew. Oh. Yeah, just she called down and talked to him about it. Hello. Oh, okay. She talked to you about uh, Renting without a credit card with a couple forms of ID and cash deposits and all that. Gotcha. If that's what you got, if you got bigger or smaller, we'll yeah, go either way. Fine. Okay, cool. Driver's license there. How much are they? Are they 19 or 29? 29. 29. And then what's the insurance? Uh, it's 14 bucks. Oh, that's cheap. Yeah. That's full everything? It'll, yeah, it'll cover you guys. I mean, don't, uh, don't drive it off a cliff or nothing. Well, no, no, no. That yeah. wouldn't be fun. Mm -hmm. uh, Phone number? Uh, 406 350 2642. Mm -hmm. you guys need this for? A day. For 24 hours? Yes, sir. That's the 29? Yep. One thing I didn't ask, how much a mile? It's 69. 79. 79? Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it less on the smaller ones? Is that what it is? No. No, it's the same on anything, huh? Truck, yeah. Wow. The uh, pickup truck is 59. That's what I seen online once, yep. Yeah, the pickup truck. Everything else is 79 on those. During the week and 99 on the weekend. It works pretty good to take some trash up to the transfer station, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Hell, I've got one, but it's got an office inside, and then, like, I don't want to take the carpeting and stuff right. out. Mm, how many miles do you guys think you'll be doing? What do you think it is? Center, we're going, like, around here five miles, and then we're going to Center Street and back up there on the 8, right, El Cajon Boulevard right there, probably 10 miles, 15, probably 25 miles will be, yeah. 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 Just fill it back up where it's a hundred a gallon? Just right where it's at. Okay. Wherever it leaves you, that's where it's gotta come back at. And then I'll show you on the contract now. Wherever it leaves you. Yeah, it's, it's almost, you know, between a half and just put it back to where it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a fun feeling running a U-Haul, man. You feel like you're moving or going somewhere. Going yeah. I don't feel like you're doing something. Do you guys actually sell a lot of the boxes and stuff? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Ordering that stuff every week. I got a little car, uh, rural car lot up there, and we're thinking about putting one of these at the location with the little franchise thing. Mm -hmm. Seems interesting. Yeah, it's cool. It's, uh, you know, it pays for a lot of the ancillary costs and stuff. I mean, you're not going to... 
Right. Well, I mean, if you got something set up and you're already doing stuff, you guys do a lot of the motor repair and stuff, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Got it's a nice auxiliary business and everything. And the extra parking you've got, what the hell? Exactly. Put the, put the space to good use. I'll bet you get, don't, that was my main question. Do you get customers that like came for U-Hauls and come back later for something else? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, I think yeah. so. That's yeah. Big, that's a big thing of it too. I mean, you get a lot of, uh, the U-Haul does drive some traffic here. I don't doubt that. Which is nice. Plus, you know, you start adding boxes to it. That helps a lot. People come in just with a box and like, oh, I didn't know. You know what? I got to bring my mower in here. Well, you know, honestly, I've sent a guy down here before because I knew you had weed eater string. Mm -hmm. and instead of going all the way to Walmart, right. I just sent it because I'm right down by the other exit. Uh, I think it's that truck right there. Okay. Yeah, it is. Yep. Right uh, the back might be on both of these. You're good to go. When you, uh, the most important thing is to get back is just park it right on the street here. Do you need to inspect it with us here? Or? Uh, no, you got the insurance, man. You're all right. Okay. Cool, man. Thank you. Talk. Verify the gas. Verify the gas. Okay. Okay. Park it on the street is number one. And number two is... They're not even inspecting it, so we're going to inspect it here with this video. I've never been somewhere where they don't inspect it. Even at the other place, they inspect it. Uh, there's a dent here. There's a scratch up top. You can check the tank, Chuck. We'll see what it is. It's all scuffed up all up there. They were all scuffed up down the sides. Nice truck. The back's open, like you said. There's a bunch of Kleenexes and stuff in it. Lights on. Hope it starts. I'm going to put this down, U-Haul bag here, no dolly, they usually have a dolly, so hopefully, yeah. Going down the side, miscellaneous scuffs and dents. Not as bad as the other side. Check so there's a couple up front. I'm gonna go back down this side and look at it and show. I just want as much proof as I can. Wheels are all banged up. They've had curb, curbs have hit them already. We haven't done a thing. Scuffed all up. Dings here. Scuffed on the doors. This side's locked. I can't look. You just you didn't start it, did you? Bumper's been banged. Big old smack here and it's bowed out. Check the mileage. They didn't even check the mileage on it. Did they write down the mileage of the truck? We gotta verify that. You know, a nice guy, but we didn't get the whole treatment here. It ain't on five A's, it's closer to a half. Is that all right? <coughs> I'm going to tell them that. I mean, it's not that... It ain't between a half and three quarters. It's touching the half mark. Yep. Um, but other than that, what's the mileage say? One, three, zero. Yeah? Five, zero. Nine. Nine. That's what it is. Okay. Mileage is 100% right. The other, we're... We need to mention it to where we're not stuck for two and three gallons. Okay, nice trucks. These are always nice trucks. This is the highest mileage one. We're not going to be able to get it out. How are we going to get this thing out? Good question. That's where, like, honestly, I wouldn't put this and do this. I couldn't do this with Nick or somebody. Wheel bearing or cylinder giving out and leaking oil out everywhere. A little maintenance. We need some maintenance, boys. I ain't checking oil. That's their job. You should be able to go 25 miles in this truck. So, whoever, I'm gonna take off and I'm gonna leave you with the next problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm thinking this guy works here probably and you can get that yeah, one moved. So, all they took was a hundred bucks. That's it. Total, not even a deposit. Basically. No. no. Like, it just covers almost what? We can what? do anything except drive off Cliffy's head. But then we can do that. <laughs> anything. So, yeah, we'll get Toyota and then we'll get out. I'll meet you up there. And the next problem is she has called. The transporter didn't call us and he showed up at the other yard. So, we got to go fill up the air tank and he's going to take that blue convertible. So, I'll talk to you in a little while. 
Yeah, next problem. We get that a lot. And Breeder knows all about it. She's gonna go ahead and look outside and make sure everything's okay. Small town of Lakeside, California, yes sirree. And they've got plenty of U-Hauls. Ooh, I have a little Mercury like that on my channel, an 86, I believe, a gold one. It was an awesome car. I drove it for a long while. Okay, well, heading back to the yard. Got the U-Haul. I'd like to have that piece of property. They have revivals and circuses there. need to stop driving this car because like just first seconds more fun you can hear that I mean I'm already at 40 35 35 or 40 my uh, speedometer is just off by a few miles per hour nice truck nice truck cruising oh man he'll get across I'd stop to help somebody like that if it was a busier road Okay, transporter has shown up. And we must go take care of him. Okay, thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. You've seen a lot of the new inventory. You've seen this now. I'll upload this as an update video at some point. We're actually going to park over there to where he can park. There. look good for my house this whole leaving it in gear and keeping my foot on the clutch thing until I turn it off is new to a guy that drives an S500 every day I like that S500 but I'll tell you what I love having this manual supercharged little car clean as a button tight as can be beautiful bright bright dark metallic blue nice spoiler system Beautiful SC. I've got two of them in stock. Beautiful GTA. I got two of those in stock. S600. Oh God. Uh oh. I told him to dummy lock that, and he locked that. This ought to be interesting. Next problem. I hope I have my keys. Not that I'm saying he was wrong there. I'd rather it be locked. Question if I was smart enough to bring the keys with me. I'm telling you what, here comes Chuck back in the truck in. It's nice to have somebody along with you that can really, really do what you need done. That's all there is to say about it. I'm gonna have him stop out here. I'm not gonna go in yet. He's an Arizonian today. Okay, I'm going to call Samantha to get some things done here. Where did they move? The Toyota? Yeah. I can't believe they didn't inspect the truck. He said tomorrow morning, go and drop it off tonight. You can, there's keys in the key box, drop it, and then just come back in the morning and get all your change. Pretty low key. The other place wants to run us through a ringer. And when we called to ask if we could rent with um, no credit card, they said no. And then she pushed them a little bit and they said, well, sometimes. Well, sometimes. Well, sometimes. This guy's like, hey, you got 50 bucks? Okay, you're in. <laughs> That's what makes you wonder. Think about that. And we're worried about him flying airplanes into shit. Oh, well, man. 
That's what happened to us. Is that what it was? I ran out of I'll tell you what, that's one of the easiest transactions we've ever done. That was blessings. And I went and told about the gas. I was like, you know what? You said five eighths between the half and three quarters. And it's, it's touching the half. It's above the half, but it's touching the half. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting all kinds of things done. Chuck is here. You might have seen this disaster relief van before. We've got this thing looking nice. It's ready to go. I got a guy that just rode in on a motorcycle. I don't know what he needs. Can I help you with something? What can I help you with? Not really. Most stuff goes, it gets exported. Sorry, our gates are never open. I didn't even know. Didn't yeah, even know they were open. Yeah. Oh no, no, it's cool. Cool bike, by the way. Thanks. Um, no. What are you looking for? Huh? What are you looking for? I was looking at the TIs. I was actually looking for something cheap as fuck. But I saw the TAs and I. The TAs, like stuff like that, I get here in California mm -hmm. and like both of them, that's got 28,000 original miles, that has 40. Oh. And they were sitting in some little guy's yard. Yeah. That guy died. So the problem is they got $900 and $800 in California fees. So I get them going and everything, and then I ship them either back to my place in Montana, overseas, or out of state. Yeah. If you've got a, I see a military, if you're out of state or something with a thing, oh man, that stuff's no problem. You can get the everything done there, and they don't care about California fees. I got you. But that's the main, cheap. I just got that yesterday, and that one don't have California fees. Yeah. Cheap, 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 just depends, it ain't as sporty or something like that. What are you looking for those? Um, man, I don't even have them priced yet. I just got that one running. Um, can I look at it? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Feel free to. The T-Bird actually is a good one for sale. It's a uh, supercharged five-speed. A Thunderbird. Yeah, oh, a super Thunderbird. And it's not got no fees or nothing. Yeah, Sorry. if you open it up, go ahead. You're welcome to. I had a, uh, I had an IRC as well. Oh, really? Yeah, I've had two of them. I love these years of cars. Oh, the gas is probably mint, too. The car's pretty damn clean. I think this is the one with 40 or 43 on it. 41, there you go. One owner on both of them. It's jacked up, huh? It's that stupid hinges. They all start catching. Yeah. Runs good? This thing runs great. We place vacuum lines, a uh, fuel pump, and now we're down to spark plugs and air filter stuff. Stuff like that. That was the only one I ain't got that ain't for sale. That's, uh, I got 30 of them in Montana, actually. 30 of them? Yeah, I had 100 at one point, and I just kind of thinned it down. I bought them when they weren't worth jack squat. Now that one, I've built the motor. I've so got a blower motor. Really? My dad had an old, uh, he had a white one. He had a, T, a white TA, the total opposite of what the Bandit was. And he sold it, my stepdad, sold it like a year before he met my mom. Oh, boy. And that was kind of like the, he was like, if I'd had the car, you'd been drove the car and I was like oh, no fucking way man but, I mean come on it's an iconic car like how do people think whatever I got a lot of them in Montana you can see them on my site yeah you Did you sh yeah I'll get you on you should look at I gotta show you this man Thunderbird just kind of kind of blew my mind right now. I didn't know they came super Oh, dude, they only made a few of them, but, and this, I got two of them, I got an anniversary in this one, but this one's cleaner. I'll pop the, I'll pop the hood, you guys see inside, look at this, man. Oh, this, you see, it's clean as hell. It's a man's coupe, and it's the only one that, they only came in five speeds. Actually, this has been my driver for the last while. Oh, yeah? This it's is an, the 4.3? That's 3.8. Three eight. Yeah. And it gets it, man. And these, if you look online, it's about 80 bucks for an underdrive pulley. Yeah. A couple things like that. Next thing you know, I don't need that. I'd be in trouble. Like your bike, what is it? Is that a six to nine? What is 600. it? 600. 600? Yeah. My buddy, he's going for that in a, I guess it's a 321 or something. It's a 300 in it. Yeah. I'm like, swapping it? I'm like, dude, are you crazy? You're going to, he's going to buy the smaller one, the 300. They have a 300. He's like, well, no, I don't trust myself on it, man. I'm going <laughs> thinking wheelie. I mean, because I know that's a fast bike. They're pretty fast. You like it? It's hot. Some you like driving it in California here on the yes. roads? Do you? Yeah, I do. So you a lane splitter? You like that? Fuck yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> that's the best. That's the best yeah. thing about it. I was like, I was like, I, I bought it. I split my first lane. I was like, so like you can't. I can't. You can get somewhere in it eighth of the time in the morning. Every, yeah, that everyone else. Yeah, does, you know, big like, time.
I was went down to get a donut at the donut bar yesterday with my mom, and like, dude, traffic was 30 minutes in the downtown, <laughs> and I'm watching the guys on bikes, and I'm missing my Harley so bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've got a, I got a Cobalt SS Turbo. Oh, cool. How do you like that? I'm trying to sell it, actually. How many miles a gallon? Uh, I get I get 30. Wow, that's so awesome. Yeah. And they're pretty zippy and fun to drive around town. Uh, it makes 300 horsepower, 330 Oh, that's fun. That's real fun. <laughs> that's more fun than the bike almost. Oh, uh. No? You like the bike, huh? Okay, let me go. I'll be right back. No problem. I'm sorry, dude. I've got this guy in here. This is the problem with having somebody around like Chuck, too. I went out to help a guy. He's got half the shit loaded up in the goddamn truck. I can't even hardly. It's a whole difference having somebody work around that's actually got a goddamn clue. I'll tell you that much. Stuff leaking all out of the truck. He's jumped in and got stinking and stuff. I can't even get over here and be doing what I'm supposed to be doing in time. What I'm saying is I've got good goddamn help now. We've got blown up these cars. You do energy drinks? Huh? Do you do energy drinks? I do. I do. What do you got? You'll love this. All right. Don't eat them all. None. One chew. There's four in each one. One chew is the same as a can of energy drink. Oh. So they're really good. And like if you're doing cross country or you're like yeah. biking or something, you don't have to get off and piss all the time. You'll love it. Yeah. I make cleanses and I'm connected with all kinds of products like that. But the cars, that's my love. Yeah, no, no. You don't even know the half. <laughs> it's been my first three, four years. What year is this? 14. 14, so it's pretty new. That's why it's more. I got 10,000 10, miles on this thing. Oh, wow. In a year? In a year? In about a year? Yeah. It definitely has got a lot more of a. I see a lot of the, the 07s and 08s are coming through. What does this cost? It was like, well, with all the warranties and shit that I bought on it, it was like almost 15. 15,000? Yeah. What are they? Is there a 900? They make a. The, the Yamaha makes. Is an R3 or something in a 900? R3, an R6, and an R1. And then if you wanted like... So is the 6 the 900? The 6 is the 600. Oh, so the R... The R3 is the 300. The R6 gotcha. is the 600. The R1 the 1000. Okay, so right now in auction, 07, 08, 09, R3s and R6s... They don't make an R3 back that far. They made a C... Not a CBR. Okay, it was a different a year then. It was a Ninja. Okay, oh. I'm watching these things and I don't know all the stuff. Yeah. I know it was a R... Six oh eight oh eight oh nine right in there. Those are good bikes. About thirty one, thirty two hundred. It should be. That's completely wholesale. But is that? I don't buy them, so I don't know. I don't know if I would pay thirty one hundred dollars for. So they're going pretty high. There, people are just wanting them for themselves. Well, here they're expensive. Oh really? Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand why they're so expensive. Because people can lane split, and like it's one of the only two stages. They they (laughs) like these bikes. They like the R's. They like the Yamahas. They just like them. Uh, The Ducatis. They like. That's, you know, then you're moving up to another, you know, but... Do you like the Ducati? Is that I a good bike? Ducatis. And an Aprilia or whatever? Aprilia? Uh, I don't, I like, I don't like Aprilia. Really? I don't. I like the Ducks a lot more than I like Aprilia. My buddy's got an 848 Evo. Do you do uh, YouTube much? I YouTube a little bit. Look for um, Two Wheel Obsession. Two Wheel Obsession? He's my buddy. I'm Serial Marshmallows on there. I do cars. My buddy, Two Wheel Obsession, he does more bobbers and stuff. Yeah. But I think he just got, he's getting... He loves bikes. Yeah, yeah That's yeah, all he does on his channel. And yeah. There's a lot of cool bike stuff on YouTube now. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I, I bought a, uh, a GoPro. I was just going to ask you, you got a GoPro or anything? Yeah, my mom, my sister sent it to me, and I'm trying to figure out how to link up voice to it so I can chit-chat while I'm cruising down the road. He, so in fact, on his channel, yeah. boom. Tell him Nathan sent you a cereal marshmallows, and he'll even hook you up. He okay. is he is the man. All right, two-wheel, two-wheel what? Two-wheel obsession. I got to write down off the He's the man. He, he, he does, I met him, he is a cigar obsession. And then all of a sudden, two years ago, he started that channel. Yeah. He is growing like crazy. It's fun, it's fun to do that shit. It really is. His name is Brian. Well, how do you, you get that side edge thing, huh? What's that? Is that a side edge thing, or what is that? Oh, oh it's, no. Uh, no four. Oh, that's the four? Yeah. See, I like my Note 3. That's pretty cool. I love the 4. I actually got one stolen. Two-wheel... Obsession. Obsession. And his name's Brian. You'll love that channel. My channel is Cereal Marshmallows. That's like what's in your Lucky Charms, except I sell them with no cereal. Yeah. Enjoy the bike. I seen you pull up in the Stormtrooper shit. I thought you was going to pull out of HK and put the place on quarantine. I didn't mean to <laughs> be a dick. I'm like, what? Yeah. Was, what now? Uh, what, what's going on here? I just wanted to ask you. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, I, um, I'd be interested in the, uh, the older TA by far, but if you're not willing to That should it. be on my website, too. Um, yeah. uh, I've got about 20 or 30 of them on there. Are you local? Yeah, I live local. 
every time I see somebody in uniform, I always think they came from somewhere else to be uh, here. Well, I'm from Missouri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, my, all of them I have are in Montana, and like I can say, I've got every, almost every combination you can imagine left from 76 to 81. I just, I know what I, I kind of want, but it's going to have, I have to, I have, I have two other cars that I don't know what to do with. One of them I want to sell, I can't get it sold. That Cobalt, is that yeah, the one? Is it hard to sell or what? Uh, nobody want, nobody will pick it up. What about, have you uh, eBayed it? Uh, I won't put it on eBay. Why? I'm not going to pay the extra money to put it on eBay. You, oh, well, I'll tell you this, I don't know. You get seven free ads a year. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, sign in and check it all out. I've, I use mine up in like the first month, yeah, probably. but um, <laughs> you get seven free a year. Okay. And they change the way you do it. You can kind of put it on there now. Fixed price is what they're leaning towards. Yeah. So you can put your price with a best offer button. Mm -hmm. You get jackasses offering you a hundred bucks too. But they can ask. But it's definitely, that's, I know I can get rid of everything I get rid of, about 70% of it right today. Really? They make a mint from me. Huh. But not from you, you got seven of them, so. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all right with that. That's, that's good. I also have a an O2 Honda S2000. That's my. Oh, that's a cool little car. That's my baby. That's my fun car. That's a. That's Out of this and that and that, you like the Honda? Yeah, it's a slow. Sport. I could tell by the way he was talking about it. It's too. just fun. Just it's the way it drives, it, or what? It drives. So I worked Porsche Volkswagen with you for a while. Wow. And uh, I drove Carreras. I drove anything nice, right? This thing fucking is so much fun. You don't know where the breaking point is. Once you find it, though, hold the fucking on. <laughs> okay, 944. I grew up with big Chevys and 396s. Oh, yeah. So then 944s did it to me. I bought a 944 to sell. I drove that car, and it was so fun to drive. Oh, yeah. Next thing you know, gayest thing in the world, they say. I bought a Miata. I love driving that they're, goddamn yeah, MX-5. They're, they're fun. They're a little go-kart car. They're not super fast. The S2000. Yeah, I was thinking car. that's what I'm thinking that kind of relates but to a little like, bit. Way better, huh? Honda did, Honda did what no one else did, was, which was, it's still now, 2013, BMW put out a 2.0 liter turbocharged engine that made the same horsepower engine in 2002, Honda s back then. 10 years. Then do you know Honda Pro Jason on YouTube? Huh. Oh, dude. I don't YouTube that You've got to look him up. <laughs> Honda Pro Jason, he's their man now. He, they, he actually signed on with Honda now, and he's yeah. got access to all their pictures. Oh, he's the man. God, You'll awesome. love him. He's the man. All right. I hate Hondas, but I love this car. You love that, huh? Yeah. See, anything old, I, I get something low miles, that's my baby. It doesn't matter the brand to me. got too many miles on it. They both, a lot of miles. One has 80, and this one has 130. That's not many. You gotta, you, eBay will do that for you. Yeah. There's probably. people out there looking all over for that no, stuff. I know. I, I, I get on and I just search for shit. You're going to have me looking at Cobalts now that I know they put out that much goddamn horsepower. Oh, uh, that's not stock. Oh, you've done a lot of upgrades? Not a lot. It's probably like a grand worth of upgrades. See, that's about like at Thunderbird. You throw about a grand into it and you can add Super a good 30%, 35% really to yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, with the, the downpipe, Catless downpipe, three inch uh, cat back. Uh, I don't have the intake or the cat bag tuned into it, and I'm making, you know, 300 wheels. What did that add, 100? Did it add about 100? Uh, it was 260 to the crank stock, so I'm going to guess about 60, 60 to 70 horses. That's a lot. It's cheap upgrades, man. Yeah, man. And as you really feel it in a small car like that, oh, too. It'll set you back in your seat. It, it like, it'll That's pretty cool. first and second part. Third, if you got tires warm, we'll, we'll grab finally. A lot of the older guys have a problem coming to a grip with it, and small cars can put out so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People hate me in their VAs because I roll up next to them at a, what is that, 5.7 GTO? I Did you like that? Uh, oh, no. I lit him up, dude. Oh, okay, you raced I him. him. I got you. I thought you had one. I'm like, geez. Oh, no, not a fan. Lit it up, huh? No, they're not that quick. No, they're real slow, and they're real, they're... They're more oriented toward the older crowd. They were more supposed to be like a cruiser type of car, not a... They look too much like a Grand Prix or a Bonneville or something. They look too... They weren't... They should have been more edgy. If they'd have been more edgy, probably would have stuck around a little bit. Might have saved Pontiac. They, in all honesty, that's possible. It yeah. is possible. They put a... Pontiac had a lot of good cars out. Grand Dame GT. My little sister had one of those things. Dude. Those things were fast as shit. I didn't know they made a G8 with the... 6.0 LS6 or whatever uh, thing. Yeah. I I <laughs> seen one at the auction yesterday. I was like, whoa! I'm gonna be researching that a bit. That's pretty cool. That'd be a nice little car. I didn't know that. That I think I like it better than the GTO. I, but. Yeah. You wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know. It. Oh, Have fun, man. It's nice to meet you. Have a good one. Yeah. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> okay. You ain't even gonna try, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Fucking done.
By the time I get here, the fucking shit's too high. It's pretty high, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna pack this stuff up for a while. No, they're worth about 13 to 18 a bag. Adds up, huh? Smash the ball, bring him down. Half the damn garage full, taking up all the room. I tell, I'll talk him into. We'll go camp with Dad, get some money so we can get some fireworks and take the cans down. How much are they a pound there? You know? 20 cents. Oh, really? See, you had to bring a load out there, buck 80. Buck 60, buck 80. All right, dude, he's got two full four wagon loads on his bike down there. Tell him, buddy, got like six bucks. <laughs> he's so pissed off. Right? In Netherlands, they charge you like uh, 25 cent on each bottle when you buy it. And 25 cents, like 35 cents for us. Should they charge you here too when you buy? Not as much, but a little bit. Yeah, a nickel. A nickel ain't enough. He doesn't make you want to save it. Nope. I'm going to grab a shovel real quick, eh? And, and them two cans here, they're about so full. We need to just fill them up. Shovel up the cans. Yeah. And we, if the cans are too full, we might have to dump water. It might have rained in them. And they're going to be. I've been trying to keep them not if, rained. You think I should keep the. I have to unload something. <laughs> On a guy's head? That too. Yeah, dude, he pulled up in his stormtrooper outfit, and I'm like, the fuck, dude? Yeah. I told him, I said, hey, I didn't mean to be rude. I just thought you were going to jump out with an HK and put the place under fucking quarantine. Yo, Jack, yo. He's got like four cars, and he's looking for another one. He just called the car and decided to pull He's stopping for the GTAs. And I'm not I am not used to somebody stopping by because my gate's always closed. All right, right. Yeah, I heard you say that. Okay. I was looking for it yesterday too to be on turf patrol. Hey, I got a question. What's that? Why wouldn't you take back the other shoes with the They're uh my old shoes? Yeah. Because they're like walking paths. Right? Why did you return them? And then get a new pair with them with the new receipt. Right. You wait long enough, those are going to be walking half, you're going to have the same excuse. truck than our truck, huh? What's that? Better this truck than our truck. Uh -huh.